Oh, a lovely morning again. Another day of harvesting. Morning, Malk. Morning, Grey Man. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty good, thanks, buddy. How are you? Oh, not so bad. I'm not so bad. It's ready for a, a good bit of work today. I must admit, though, I slept much better last night knowing that our bank balance was massively increased over the last episode. Look at that. I know, look at that. And it's, we've bought uh, a new pot. It's un unheard of to have that much money. It is a bit. Mm. It's almost yeah, a waste well, to have it in our bank. Well, if I could have it in my bank, that'd be nice. Um, <laughs> wouldn't make any interest, though, would it? Wait, no. right. So, um, welcome back, everybody, to Corpy. We are on episode 22. Um, this is actually recorded on the 22nd of the 3rd, 2024, so we're still um, banking some episodes ready for when me and Mount go away on our, on our few trips. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we are uh, banking on quite well, but we've got a bit of a plan for today. We have. So, firstly, though, thank you, everybody, for watching, commenting, and liking the videos. It is massively appreciated, and obviously keep at it because it keeps us wanting to keep this series going so yeah. that's always nice we've got quite a few jobs to do today first off though we're going to actually put down a silo we are we're, we're going to need a here. silo yeah we are we've got a big canola harvest coming in so malk if you want to get your chainsaw out buddy chainsaw so, is out malk's going to do some trees we're going to put them in the wood in the sawmill and then we're going to put a silo down I'll get the stumps in a minute. Then we're going to get this field over here limed and seeded and rolled and weeded. And we're probably going to use workers for quite a lot of the work ourselves. Or not by us, but makes more sense. And we're going to set someone off on the canola harvest as well. Get that in. And then Malk is going to crack on, on our new field and get yeah. the grass cut. I'm going to windrow up, get it bailed. Probably then look at... Um, putting in the uh, silage and get some silage going as well so that's going to help us a little bit get a bit more money going in and then hopefully that should be about it for this episode but at least we've got another field turned around yeah the canola in and um, we're going to keep the canola in storage until let's have a quick look so is it november it's 906 yeah november so okay. i mean that's 1272 for november so right. i think yeah, we need to keep that in there, but that makes sense. So yeah, I mean, a big our, our only other option for canola is to turn it into oil, but yeah, I don't think we're ready for that just yet. No, and we just we do need to open the F1 menu up so we can see where this is. A bit more. A bit more. Is that everything? That's 7,000, buddy. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Not a massive amount, but right, need to get the. You going for the stump grinder? Yeah, I'll get the stump grinder and uh, we'll just sort out this these few stumps. So, I will show you which solo we're going to go for. It is a mod solo off mod hub. It was released, I think, this week or last week actually. We're going to go for this one. It's £22,000 and it's got a 470,000 litre capacity. We're going to put it about here, give or take, because then that means that we can come off the track, fill it up or then load into it as well and it does also mean that we've got a awful lot of um, space then for the rest of the game it does look quite rusty and old which i think is quite nice it's quite in keeping so i don't think that's a a big problem you're saying that we're so, rusty and old no well you are i'm not well i am yeah. you're you're just you know nearly prehistoric aren't you something like that yeah are you getting on it? You found it? Or do you want me to do some found, forest painting? I found two of them. Yeah, maybe maybe stick some forest uh, texture down. That would help me. Okay, give me a second. It shouldn't cost too much. We've got a little bit of money, so... Yeah. I think I maybe got that one. So oh, forest in. painting is, once again, free. It's bizarre, isn't it? Oh, there we go. There we this go. map is so broken. In my opinion. Yeah. Can you see another one? Oh, there it is. Deal free. There we go. Let's do this bit got here. Rid of that. Okay. We're starting to make our pot and our farm look a little bit nicer as we go. Yeah. So it's not too bad. Right, so I will let you put down 
the silo, sir. Okay, I'm just going to grab these mowers while I'm here. That one's all done. Um, I'm going to get the... Somebody's put the log the grab in front of one of them, but, you know... Well, that was probably me. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do, actually, first off. Let's get the combine started. How are we doing for diesel in the combine? It should be full, because I think I filled it yeah, up last time. It is. All I can do is apologise for the world's loudest combine, but we have we have got some mod combines in the series that we'll hopefully look at buying in the next maybe couple of episodes. Yeah. Maybe before episode 25, you never know. Um, we are going to set this one up on course space. I'm going to set a course up and then I'll need to set the settings so it can self unload. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. There you go. Look at that. So you just want me to put a bit of gravel down around it? Yeah, I think put a bit of gravel around it. Yeah, make it look a bit prettier. That's better. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. And round the back as well, probably, and then round the front. Okay. So we're probably going to get to the point of doing the track at some point, aren't we? Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't seem to there. be able to paint it that easily. Oh, there we go. It's going a bit better now. Right, let me get this sorted. That looks alright there, mate. That does. I think okay. need to put some more production and get some more sheds down at some point as well. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if it's a lag thing with it being on the dedicated server, but it's it's been really bad for painting. Okay. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get this started. I'm actually going to start it. I'm going to have to start it over here though, because, let's set the course off. Course, so, target position, oh no, not target, field position, ah, oh, that's not going to work. Let's try that again. Well, it's not no, great. Oh, bad. It's not great, but no. it's not bad. We'll have to leave it at that. Uh, What's wrong? We need to do some painting around this field down the bottom. Why is that? Well, you get yourself in the combine. Okay. Try and pick that field as a course. Yeah, I think it's going to pick the entire edge, isn't it? Um, no, it could, you try the edge down the bottom near the trees. Oh, right. I, don't, I know what you mean. Right. Do That's you, wonky. Yeah, so it's going to do... Because that's, that's what we did on the other field, I think, recently, isn't it? Yeah, we've got to do a bit of painting here. Yeah. So, bear with us while we do this. We'll cut back, I think, once we've done this. Ooh. <laughs> oh, mine's going um, to your... So all the stuff towards your... God, that's a really weird... It's crossed over the lines. Yeah. You know, to your right. really bad. Mm, okay. Yeah, gone a bit mad, so I'm just doing some painting of all these bits of the field. Okay, well I'll tell you what, do you want me to pick up the lime spreading then? You can do, yeah. I'm going to get this done and I'll come back when I've got this finished. Right. Ooh. Oh, I know where our money's gone. I just looked and thought, where's all our money gone? <laughs> oh, yeah. our money's gone because you bought the silo. I was like, I haven't spent 20 grand on painting of it. Crikey. Right, so I'll just get the eye on the spreader. Hopefully we shouldn't need to get too much more lime. Because the field doesn't really need that much. So I'm hoping it's going to spread the lime at quite a low rate. I'm trying my best to try and come out. I might end up taking a few bits of canola with me as I'm driving down this side. I'm going to make a hard edge. Hoping it's going to help a bit, that's all. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Right, so I mean, I've used 15% well, on this first edge, so I think we should have enough to finish this field.
So there's a slight annoying bit here where it's left a little strip. Not sure how we can prevent that in the future. Right, that's that set. Um, we're going to do... Where is the setting for unloading yourself, self-unload? Yeah. Ah, combine self-unload. That's the yeah, one. Found it. Like that. So that's good. Right. Let's get out of there. I'm going to put the trailer on this first headland over here. Okay, can you put anyway. it, could you put it on the side because if it, you know where it's going to do its turning if the trailer's there yeah, so it'll I'm, end up Well you know where you've got the Oh yeah, I know what you're saying Yeah Right, so I've done the field now I have 15 litres of lime left If it does pop up and say uh, book by object, we know what it is though, don't we? Yeah, that's true So I've put it there for now not amazing, right. Um, I need that back, don't we? We need to set the worker off. Okay. Shall I let you with run with that then? Cedar now, because you may as well get cracked on, aren't you, really, with the. Um, yeah, with doing the grass, yeah. Doing the grass. This needs filling up, actually. With. Oh, half a tank. Mm, yeah, should be enough for that field, shouldn't it? I would say, well, actually, the Valtra is very low as well. I might go and get some fuel for the Valtra. We need to start building our farm. We do. We, we, need to, later, we need to get a fuel tank, don't we? We need to get a fuel tank, get some yeah. sheds in. We're still not but entirely not sure that where we've put our kit is the right place for the farmyard. So No, I still think this is going to be quite good for productions, this area. Yeah, it's nice and flat, isn't it? So yeah. we might relocate. So probably a good idea that we haven't started putting sheds down and, and other things. Ooh, we've got any more fertiliser? I don't think we have. Okay. Is that lime? Yeah, that's a lime. Okay. I'm going to run this down to the shop quickly then. So I shall see everybody on the way back. I'm going to get some fuel and also some lime and seed. So. Yeah, well I'm full of fuel so I'm going to head up to the new plot and start marking out our next field right so this is um, let me just try and find our plot of land so this is our new plot of land here and our idea is that we're going to have a little drive well a little path coming through the forest there we've already cut that out and then we're thinking about putting a track in down the edge of this forest to here and we'll have this sort of area as sort of a I don't know a gathering area for combines and header trailers things like that and then we're going to create a field down here in this side of this field this is the one i'm going to do now and then we'll do another one the other side and then what that means is that if we buy this plot we can extend around here and if we buy this plot we can we can go that way as well so but just for now we're just going to keep fields of a sort of reasonable size nothing too big because our machinery isn't actually that huge either so Right, so I'll make a start on this, and I'll uh, see you when it's done.
Oh, made it through the tree tunnel. Where am I going? Oh, hey up! I see a mount on the uh, on the mini map. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a. Oh yeah, that's a really good sized field. Rocky. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah. That is going to be a good sized field, isn't it? Yeah, it should be. I think we're probably going to have to buy a second subsoiler. To yeah. Get this one. This one done. Okay, well, I'm going to get cracked on then. I'm going to get this wind road up, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, one thing I will say is if you are going back to get the baler, can you double check on the workers for me? Yeah, I'll check on, I'll check on the gonna, kids, yeah. I'm going to name them from now on. Um, yeah. They seem to be doing a good job, actually, I must admit. Good. That's what we want to hear. So that's what we're paying them to do. You might need to just the only thing you might need to do is potentially um do the corners for the cedar right because i'll put them on smooth i don't want them to end up in the drink yeah might be okay because we have put them on um three headlands on the cedar and he seems to be cracking on pretty well okay um and then also uh, the combine just check on the trailer yeah i don't okay. think he's going to have it full anytime soon right okay but you never do that. So I'm going to get this cracked onto a bit of a time lapse and I shall look forward to seeing everybody on the other side. Yeah. I think what I might just do is just make sure that I'm as close to that boundary as I can be. So let me just put the centre of the tractor on there. Look at the map. And yeah, I think that's pretty close to the boundary. And I'll do the same down at the bottom. not bad I probably could have gone a little bit more but I think it'll be all right where it is and then um, well this bit doesn't really matter I suppose because we own as much to the right as we have to the left but it's about the middle of the field so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that Are you going to windrow that little bit where I started as well? Yeah, we'll do. Okay, right. So I'll head back you now. A bit of grass. Where at? Near me. Oh, needs to be refilled. Ooh. What needs to be refilled? That's, that's the cedar. Oh. 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 Well, you better get down to the shop then. Yeah, I'll have to go and. Uh, Buy some seed. Are there any other little bits I've missed? Uh, on these corners a little bit, yeah. Okay, do you want me to get them? Does it matter? Well, it's up to you. We don't think we really need it, do we? I mean, oh, no we offense, don't. we don't really need the cash injection, do we? No, we've got, we've got enough, I think. Right, so I'll go and get that seed refilled, get it set off again, check on the rest of the uh, cosplay workers, and then uh, I'll come back with the baler and we'll get this grass baled up. Alright, so it looks as though the combine's unloading into the trailer, which is what it's supposed to do, so that's good. And where's this cedar? I wonder what it's run out of. Alright, let's go and check. It's out of fertiliser. Alright, so Green Man informs me there is seed and fertiliser down at the shop, so let's head down there, get this thing refilled, and then get it set off again. I might, when I come back, I might just check all the corners um, and tidy those bits up that it's that cosplay is missed. But other than that, I think it's going to be fairly straightforward. Alright, so here's our seed and fertiliser. It's the seed full. Oh. 
Uh, I'm going to buy another bag of fertilizer because we've run out there. So uh, there's nothing wrong. In fact, I'll get this one. Then there's no mistaking. There we go. Let's get this thing going again. Right, so yeah, so I just want to fill in these bits on the corner where cosplay can't accurately do it with a trailed cedar. Looks like the canola trailer is about half full. Right, how are you getting on, Mal? Because I have got one strip left. Um, okay. Um, so it's going pretty well. I do like this wind rower for a cheap wind rower. Oh, it's brilliant. And just the way that it's got the discs, I think it's such a wicked old school way of doing it. Yeah. No, it's really good. Yeah, so I'm doing okay. I'm just getting the corners um, that cosplay misses. So. I thank you very much, sir. Yeah, Appreciate I'm that. About ready to set it off again, I think. Well, I think the problem is because the amount of trees we've got around the outsides of the fields and also the river, I think having a smooth is always a good idea. Definitely, yeah. If it's on a more square, perfect field, I, I would always do sharp, but I don't really trust course play with the, with the big amount of uh, water around. I don't know about you. No, I'm inclined to, believe, uh, to agree with you there on that. Right, while I'm here, one thing I am going to do... Well, no, actually, I'll do it next time. One thing we need to remember to do is, on these edges, there's a few edges that have got some bits of oats right on the corners. Yeah. Even when we subsold, they'll still be there. So when we subsold it, which will probably be next time, we'll fill them in with grass, and then it'll obviously help us with course bait, because okay. we're probably going to use course bait to um, feed that field, aren't we? Yeah. Right, so, so I that's, have also that's the worker off. I have wind rode up the um, the bit that uh, you started with. So All right, yeah, okay. Back, thinking of where I'm going. Yes, oh, I made it. Excellent. Oh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, looking good. Just making through the fit through the forest there. Right. Uh, have you set the worker back off again? Or yeah, what? the worker's uh, he's away again. You want me to start doing a bit of rolling? If you want to, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack on with the bale. Unless you want to follow me up with the bale wrapper. And... Yeah, you could do. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. And then obviously we can always leave a bit of course by going or doing whatever, can't we? Yeah. So yeah, let's do that because we can always. We can, might even be able to get these bales actually semi-collected. Possibly, yeah. And potentially then... Oh, that didn't go too well. Um, and then sort it out near the shop again. Yeah, that's definitely... Um, that's pretty much what we did last time. That was a good place to, to put them, well, wasn't actually. it? Yeah. yeah. And they've got time to just ferment there, haven't they? If we can get these... And if we can get the bales fermented quicker than last time means we can get the money in a little bit quicker, doesn't it? Yeah. Not the best, that. Right, so I'll see everyone down at the field when I'm doing the bailing.
Right, so this is all the baling done now. There's just a few little bits I can probably mop up just to get that last bale. I've only need 600 litres. So there's quite a bit dotted around. Uh, and Grey Man's busy tending to this harvester, so I might as well just make a start on the wrapping. And then um, that'll probably be about it for this episode. Okay, there's our last bale, so I'm not sure how many there are. Uh, I could probably... Oh no, we don't have the stats in uh, this game, do we? Right, so I might as well just park this up at the side and then when Grey Man's done he can take the baler back and um, come back with the loader. So let me get into the Ford and get this wrapping finished. Wonder how Malk's getting on. Malk, how you getting on? How are you doing? You all right? Um, not so bad. Uh, just doing the bale wrapping. There's quite a few to go. I would say there's okay. maybe 30 bales to wrap still, but wow. You know, okay. I'll just plug on. Okay, that's quite a few. I switched over to the Vulture because it um, the link arms don't collide with the wrapper as as much, so you can turn a little bit easier. Okay, well I'm going to get this combine back to the farm then I'll tab back to the Ford then and probably bring the baler back yeah sort out the thingy as well actually gonna, once we get that I will sort out getting the uh, canola back into the silo okay uh, one thing we do need to probably do you know is look for a new fertilizer spreader slash lime spreader because yeah. we're gonna have potentially two fields you know in yeah. the next episode to do so we're going to want to do that canola field and I think we're going to put soybeans in there aren't we yeah we might as well give soybeans a go uh, we can't r really do much else uh, we haven't without a planter and um, then we don't mm -hmm. have a corn header anyway to harvest whatever we make so no I mean we're going to have to keep stick with cereal crops for now I, know it's not, I think it's a bit boring but um, I know we also we don't want to be putting in crops that are too quick either because obviously we've still got quite a lot of field work to do. I know we've got course by now, but we don't want to um, thingy too much, do we? No. So um, I've got the baler. I'm going to take this back to the farm if I can remember where I'm going. I think it's in here. It is. Look for the rocks on the mini map. At some point we'll put this track in. Um, what we might do actually is because in theory bit of a thought because the silage is free money apart from obviously fuel cost do you think we should use a little bit of the silage money to do a bit of painting it's either in that cases. or put it towards buying a better baler mm, yeah that's actually a very good idea yeah, yeah I think that's a good idea actually because it, it's kind of if yeah. de facto the kind of work you're going to get out of it isn't it yeah so that's probably a really clever idea mm. so um okay what do we need to move that wood trailer yeah i think i'm done i don't know we'll probably go for the either the pottinger or maybe the new massa ferguson bales yeah just, baler. yeah i mean as long as we can do slightly bigger bales you know 150 180 would that's 150 minimum that's what we need I mean, that's a quick look actually. Give me a sec. So. So. If we did the. Okay, so if we went for the MFRB 4160V ProTech, which came as part of that free update for 1.09, I think it was. Mm -hmm. That's. Does 150cm normal and 150cm wrapped. Okay. And he's 140 horsepower, so quite a high power requirement. Yeah, but we've got that. 
or um, the Pottinger, oh wait, a Pottinger isn't there wherever he is. So the Pottinger we can't really go for. But it will do 180 centimetre bells, but it needs 150 horsepower. I th I think the Falter would pull that. It might just be a bit slow, but I think it or, would pull. We could go really left field, and we could go for the Verma, or Verbier, which can do 180 centimetre bells, but it doesn't do wrapped. But it is only 56 grand, and it's 100 horsepower. So it doesn't have a wrapper attached? No wrapper. No, you see, I think we need that. That's Because at the moment, this is taking up two people's jobs, isn't it? So we yeah, need, true enough. We need a baler wrapper. Okay, well... Either the Pottinger then, or the MF Mass Ferguson yeah. and Fent one, because they're both the same. They're both Agni brands. Which one's so they're both cheaper? The ones. Both the same price, oh, well. I believe. Let me just double check. Uh, Eighty-four thousand five hundred for either. Okay. So, but I mean, do we need a Baylor yet? Uh, well, no, because we're we're not actually unless we do something with straw, which. Well, that's the wheat, isn't wow. it? So that's ten months away. Um, yeah. So no, so we don't. We're probably not going to be doing any baling now until we make the next field next to um, where I am now. Yeah, because obviously you've got sorghum, which is going to be nothing. You've got the wheat. This is going to be soybeans, isn't it? Yeah. So that's going to be hardly anything. So yeah, that's probably going to be something that we don't have to think about too much. We are going to have to think about combine. We are. Definitely. Sooner than anything else. Yeah, that's really holding us up at the moment. But if we get a bigger combine, the one that can take the different headers, then we can mix the crops up a bit, can't we? Yeah. We could even put down a um, some kind of unusual production or something, I suppose, couldn't we? If we wanted to. Mm. Right. Yeah, it's done right. I think as long as the production's realistic, it doesn't really matter what it is. Right, I think the roller or the rolling, sorry, is about done. Okay. And the canola's done, field's done, field's cleared, just needs liming and then direct direct drilling, so that's going to really help our... Actually, once we lime and direct drill that, soybeans, nothing to worry about. No? No, because... Yeah. They're quick, isn't it, when you think about it, because we don't need to fertilise it, we need to lime it, direct drill it, roll it. Absolutely weed easy it. anything. Ah, uh, weed it, yeah. Okay, so quite a few bales. Whoa, yeah, wow. As, uh, okay. Yeah, it is. Has our environmental score been affected after doing the um, canola harvest? Uh, let me have a look. Just be with it not being direct drilled. I didn't know if it maybe impact our. Uh, no, uh, eighty six on the pot one and. 91 on pot 3, so we're still okay. 89. Yeah, no, that's okay. Right, Malk, how are you getting on? Because I've just literally set off our last worker to do some weeding. Right, well, I'm just about to wrap the last bale. Unless I've missed mm -hmm. one, which I don't think I have. No, no, I've got them all. And there's a lot. Ooh. There's a lot of bales here. Right, okay. <laughs> Let me tab back to whoa yeah you could say that right, let yeah. me just clear may as well clear at least somewhere on the outside take this down to the shop yeah. and we may as well call this episode done and then I think the next episode you get cutting out with the subsoiler I'll cut these bales we'll set some more course bay workers off mm. do a bit of planting and then yeah wow we are um, turning fields around pretty quick now I think I think we are aren't we which is nice. Um, that stalk on the field's looking really good, by the way. Looking really smart. So, good. I'm just going to go and have a look now. And I can find my way through the trees. I need to really... Aim for the rocks. Yeah, I know. Aim, aim, for, aim for them rocks, and yeah. then just careful how you go through. Mm. So, um, oh, yeah. I'm going to come back with you, actually. So I may as well come back and we'll, we'll stop and finish the episode there, I think. Okay. And then next episode I'll click some more bales up and uh, yeah looking pretty good so I'm just but it's quite a transformation over this side of the the forest 
weird. Yeah, and it's all been done by Cool Spy, which it is has. nice. Yeah, which is really good. So we've got I help us a lot. So that's in the silo. We've got seventeen thousand three hundred forty-nine. That's brilliant. Absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah, pretty good time. Yeah. It? Um, right. Yeah. No point in bringing the tractor over. So I think. I think we've definitely made a good choice for putting a silo insert. Yeah. Uh, it's a good choice for the future. So hopefully everyone has enjoyed this episode. If they have, remember to give it a like. Watch it on both channels. And uh, we both look forward to you joining us next time. Many thanks for watching. See you later.